Alrighty, so round two. Uh, how you guys doing? That dating channel. That dating channel. It's a lot more subdued on this side. Um, uh, the other channel, like after I after I'm done talking, like my head hurts. But today I wanted to um give you guys a show about a subject matter that came up on one of the Facebook stories or feeds or reels that uh, show up, and a, a funny subject matter. A funny subject matter came up that made me. I even asked um my girlfriend this this question. Would you trade places? As an average woman, an average 5'5", 130 to 155 pounds, normal brown hair, brown eyes, normal chick, would you trade places with an average guy? And do you think the average guy has it better than the average girl? And I'll talk about that. We, we had a very good substantive conversation um i've talked to people about the subject matter before but i'm going to give you a, a glimpse into what men go through now a lot of women watch this channel and i'm really encouraging them to chime in at least listen to what we got to say and maybe you didn't understand that perspective or maybe you didn't even think that men thought that way but I will tell you what it is to live the life of an average man. I am a little above average if you want to say maybe height. Looks, I'm right there, average. There's nothing exciting about me. But I'm a little taller. I am a, a little. I got a little more muscle on my body than most. Uh, but I am not by any way, shape, or form uh, consider myself above average. I would say I'm average. Or maybe you guys look at me and you say Alex is is good looking or whatever or higher than average, but he doesn't carry himself like he's higher than average. So we'll talk about that whole situation and what I think women don't see that men go through that will probably make them second guess wanting to trade places with a guy. We got Matt 2011 GT, we got Melissa, Legion Fab T, just Sikorsky, Ken McAllister, DNG Brandon, Nat Jew, uh, John Kinto, Morgan GT, Zach B, YouTube Corrupt, and a Free Speech, Tito Rosso, Rex, Hot Metal, Blazing Angel X, Guillermo, Eliza, Bengale, Nick Rogers, what's up, Nick? How you doing, brother? 11 Second Eclipse, Chris Topher, yo, listening at work, and Blake Bailey, Alfredo Diaz, and Jason. Okay, so who has it easier, women or men? So maybe because it's, 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 it's social media or whatever, women complain that men are pigs, uh, men hit on them, men would fuck anything, men have it easy because, you know, they don't have to like do a whole routine and get out of the house and look okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you ladies know, women that are uh, on the chat, ghost watchers, I'm going to let you know what it is like to be a man. Um... Uh, day to day we we are invisible and a lot of men on the chat can absolutely attest to this we are invisible to the world no one generally goes out of the way to say hi to us women especially because men want the attention from women of course that's why most men do anything but we are invisible now when i sit at the gym i really pay attention i'm really good at paying attention to what's going on and there's a lot of average guys out there, 5'7 to 5'9, 155 to 185 pounds, just generic ass people. And those guys are the most invisible. Now, if you're an average woman, you probably have guys hitting on you once or twice a day, or at least saying hello to you, offering to open your door. Basically, you don't get ignored all day. You don't get ignored. No way you get ignored if you're an average woman, 5'3 to 5'6, 120 to 150 pounds. No way. Those are the girls we like. Those are the girls we seek. Those are the girls that we go after the most. Those are the ones we find the most attractive. A man, 5'7 to 5'9, let's say 5'6 to 5'10, 155 to 185, and has average looks, average everything, is invisible now when do women experience this women you experience this at 50 years old you are invisible no guys are hitting on you unless they're nasty no one's even paying attention to you generally not going out of their way to open doors for you you have now become a guy women at 50 are like men men are ignored men are not men are men are looked at as if they're predators 
you can't say, you can't do nice things for certain people without being labeled as like a weirdo. I don't open doors at the gym. I don't look at girls at the gym. I don't look at girls at Publix. I don't do anything because for fear of being called a weirdo or something's wrong with you. So men are invisible. And there was a good two or three years where I was single that I felt invisible. Well, who do I talk to about that? Who do I talk to about not feeling adequate or not feeling uh, purposeful or not feeling like I'm doing the right thing because I'm generally being ignored? Well, nobody. Because if you go out of your way to complain that you have feelings about this, then you are labeled as weak. You are labeled as less than. You are, get over it. You're a man. What's the problem? So let's say, ladies, you're a regular chick and you were ignored all the time and you don't understand why no one's paying attention to you. Well, that's a man's every single day. Every single day. Now, what's the other curse that men have? Let's say you're above average, 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", great looking, blonde hair, blue eyes, in good shape. What do women do? He's fucking cocky. Fuck that guy. He thinks he's all that. So if you dare... To be high, higher than average, tall, confident, and carry yourself in a positive manner, you're looked at as, oh, uh, you think you're hot shit. And if you're an average dude, you're absolutely invisible. So do you want to get out of that rut? No. No. You, men... If men try to get out of that rut, they have to complain about it. Now, let's say, for instance, ladies, you had the ability to live a man's life for a week. Would you do it? Knowing that you would be absolutely invisible to the world, girls are generally disgusted by you just because you're a male. Uh, let's say I want to say hi to a girl at the gym and I'm an average dude, 5'7", 155 pounds, can't lift shit. Hey, how you doing? Ew. Oh, get away from me. So would you trade places with men? Because... If you want equality, well, being ignored, not taking your complaints taken seriously, not being able to vent to anybody for fear of looking as a weak, uh, like a weak person, um, generally being invisible to society is how most men operate every single day. Now on this chat, we have guys that are absolutely honest and say, yeah, I feel invisible. How many on the chat feel invisible? How many in the chat are signal and feel invisible? Meaning... You don't interact with people for most of the day, except people that are close to you. Let's say, how many of you interact, not a coworker, not a, not, not, not a kid, not, not anyone related to you, a, in terms of strangers, put a one in the chat if you get a lot of attention from the opposite sex, unprovoked. Like, I bet there's not many. They'll go, nah, I'm generally invisible unless it's someone I already know. You go to a grocery store, you go to Publix, you go to the gym, you're ignored. And men, just deal with it. And if a woman was ignored all the time and not being hit on 24-7, they'd have a fucking mental breakdown. Now, women, do, well, I don't get hit on every day. Yes, you do. If a man says hi, he's hitting on you. Stop it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about how tough it is to be a guy nowadays, especially in the world where like they're just people are just making making shit up now. They're just I'm, I'm a girl today. I'm a guy today. I'm a fucking dolphin today. And how I if I was a single guy, I wouldn't approach any fucking body. That's why online dating has become really popular. But the problem is once you figure out that online dating is full of rejects, you figure out really quickly that it's just it's just not for you. It's just not for you. Um, what up? We fix everything, cut grass, etc. Most guys don't need to put their phone on D and D at night, right? I put my phone and it's full fucking loud. It doesn't buzz at all unless it's the Lund Racing group chat. Like when my phone goes, bzz, bzz, I go, oh, it's fucking Brandon showing you a, a fucking meat recipe. I'm hoping it's like someone that wants some bitch up. Life is much easier for a beautiful woman. If they're ugly, they'll be working like a man. Ah, perfect. Uh, Nixon Tarpy in the house. Uh, is this why Karens are usually older women striving for attention? I think so, Alfredo Diaz. I think women, once they reach, let's say all of your life, all of your life as a woman, you were hit on, 
You were accosted. You were told you were hot shit. Look at your ass. I'd love to pound that sweet little ass of yours. You're sweet. You're hot. And you're like, nah, nah, nah. Maybe you had a long-term relationship. Maybe you were married for a little bit, had some kids. And then, slowly, no one's saying hi to you anymore. No one's trying to take you out. No one's opening doors for you anymore. You're 50. And you're like, I'm invisible. Uh, I'll show you a woman that said that. Supermodel. Says she's invisible. Okay. Paulina Parzakova. This is a good article. Um, she was on a show somewhere, I forget. And she talked about being invisible at 56 years old. As her life goes on, Paulina Poroskova has been consistently outspoken about, about aging and the way our society becomes even more unfair aww, hmm, to women as they are older. And in a new interview with The Times, the supermodel shared supermodel, the ex, please put ex supermodel, shared more of her thoughts and the personal experience, including in how aging has affected the way people interact at her with her at 56. She says she feels invisible when interacting with men in particular. Even though she herself feels confident and sexier than ever, her confidence is evidenced by the provocative photos she posts on her Instagram account, which to her are making a clear point about how culture views older women in comparison to younger women. In the interview, Porzakova says she wishes women could come together to fight against ageism. Sorry, what about what about? Males, what 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 do we have to use to cope for the fact that we're ignored 100% of the time? In the Times interview, she said that when she goes to parties, she's ignored by men, even though she's interested in flirting and putting herself out there as a single woman. She says, nobody gives me, nobody believes me until they see it, she told the publication. My girlfriends thought I was joking at first. Now they've all witnesses, witnessed it. She says, I'm not completely invisible. I walk into a party. I try to flirt with guys and they'll just walk away from me mid-sentence to pursue someone 20 years younger. I'm very single. I'm dressed up. I've, ate, I've made an effort and nothing. Realizing this was happening made her feel bad about herself. It's like the boiled egg, the boiled frog. You don't know until you're gone, she explained. It was around the same time that my marriage fell apart. My husband was no longer interested in me. As I started looking around, I realized I was invisible to the population at large. It made me feel really terrible about myself, Porzakova. Married late in the Cars singer Rick Okasik in 1989, they separated in 2017. She insists made headlines for a brief relationship with a writer, whatever the fuck. So she is wang wang because she goes through what guys go through every fucking day. Guys, guys can't complain at an article. Guys can't complain to the Times. Guys can't complain on Instagram. No one's looking at me and then post a picture of your asshole on Instagram in hopes to get attention. Guys can't do that. Gay guys can, but guys can't do that. According to the Bible, a man is in his prime and is 60. At 60. The Bible, when that shit came out, 60, you were 20 years dead. I think Pearl quotes the statistics that most women find 80% of all men unattractive. Some chick called me a narcissist because I love myself and trying to better myself in fitness. We can't win. Bro, she called you a narcissist because you're trying to work out? Didn't a girl unalive herself when she posted as she posed as a man for about a year to see the other side of the coin? Correct. There was a woman that, you know, she kind of looked like she can go both ways, cut her hair, lived as a man, psychologically could not recover from that and offed herself. Married, invisible, says Harley Takwache mode. 23, single and invisible, modified by Nick. I'm invisible. I am 5'7, says Morgan GT. Invisible, says JD Swag. Two security, invisible as fuck. Christopher, single, invisible, silence is good though. Rex says, wasn't there a chick that's posed as a guy? Yes, we got that. Maybe I didn't pay attention because I hate people. 6'2", says Crumbopolis Michael. Get glanced at but not approached. I'm 32. A 6'2 man is way above average, a perfect height in my opinion, not too tall. As long as you're in decent shape, you women should be jumping through hoops to get to you. But they go, nah, that guy's probably full of himself. Jason Rivera, I have a girlfriend, 29, and I'm ignored daily. Maybe I'm 195 pounds and 6'1", but yes, ignored all day. Invisible in person, ladies come easy through my art, though, says Baby Vanta. Have you ever seen an attractive woman mechanic? Fuck no. I thought I did until I saw the rest of her body. She was in Florida, too. I was like, wow, that girl's hot. Oh, no, she's not, because you saw the rest of her body. I was invisible for years, says Jesus Perez, but started carrying myself differently and received more attention. Right. The, what I started doing is dressing better, uh, going out more, um, actually being out and about helped me in terms of my confidence because I wasn't really confident. Once I got single, guys, 
I was devastated. Like, devastated. I, I, I was like, oh, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, am I even going to stay in Florida? What the fuck? You know, like, homeless. Imagine homeless, have all your shit in a car, and you're not really in that good of shape, and you don't have any prospects. You don't start going on Bumble and start swiping. You start figuring out how to how to get your life in order. Once I got my place and got my shit in order, got a little bit of money, got dressed up, started going out, got in shape, and I was like, all right, get back on the horse. And once I did that, I started noticing how invisible I really was, like to everybody. Um, because I'm not everyone's cup of tea, and I get that. But you, you know, you want to become liked or looked at. Well, you got to go to the gym, get in shape, get your money up, blah 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 blah, and get out there some more. Modified by Nick says, "Yo, Alex, I had a woman in her fifties complain about two cars being parked at my complex. Accused me of having a mechanic shop. Pfft. When when everyone in my shop here, my shops or my um, my garages here, look at me, they go, oh, you work on cars? I go, these are all mine. They walk away." Because I think they're looking to complain. Oh, you're working on cars out here? I go, they're all my cars. They're all your cars? Yeah, they're all my cars. I will show you every single one's registration. <clears throat> that last part tells me she didn't bring anything to the relationship other than her looks. Exactly. She probably talking about her hot young guys ignoring her, not her guys her age or older. Stop hanging out with 20-year-olds at 40. Exactly. Exactly, Ms. Parzakova. You're going to go into a party? You think you're going to attract a 28-year-old high-value man? Boy, you psycho. She didn't make it a year. Late trying to get this trans ready to ship out, says Bryson Wick. Unalived, can we just say hamburger time? I thought men had it easy because of the patriarchy. Oh, the patriarchy makes everything great for men. And you ladies have no idea. We suffer more than anyone. Like, no woman has it as tough as men do because we are invisible to the world even though we're trying not to be. And the moment we try to not be invisible by saying hello to you, we are now creeps. We are now gross. We are now weirdos. Zach B says, I get glances sometimes, but I don't, re- I don't really notice anything. Then again, I work and I balance school at the same time. I consider myself slightly above average, 6'0", 145, light skin, black. <laughs> light skin, black. 145, uh, you got to get your weight up. You got to get at least a 180 on top of that. But maybe you're tall, thin, and you know you can wear the baggy clothing and look good. Not me. Tony was your best wingman. I was ignored until I got a dog. Women see you walking by yourself in the complex when you go for a long walk. Because this has a very long, like, one mile and a half path. So I would go walking, and you could see that they're like, why is he walking by himself? What a fucking weirdo. And now I'm walking with a dog, and they're like, oh, he's awesome. Let me approach him. Fucking weirdos. You get female attention when you genuinely stop caring and focus on having a good time. Get the money up, right? She flirts with you. You do it back to her and says, I'm just friendly. You're a creep now and you're just, you you can't even catch a charge. Right. Nobody cares. Work harder. Right. Right. So if, if a woman um, says hi to you, you're like, whoa, whoa. And then you want to go out. Oh, no, I have a boyfriend. Bitch, don't talk to strangers if you have a boyfriend. Sorry. Don't say you're nice. Don't say you're an extrovert. Don't say you're sweet. Don't say you're generally nice. If you have a boyfriend or husband, and unless you're looking for dick, don't be talking to dudes. You hit me up? Yeah? I'm thinking you want dick. Right? Hello? Why are you hitting me up? I know your situation. Oh, you think we're friends? Don't get me wrong. I'll be friendly. I'll be nice. But in the back of my mind, I'm going... I might want to fuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why are you surprised, honey? Honey, why are you surprised? If you got a man and you approach another man, that man, even in a friendly manner where you're just talking and you're good looking and he he's all right, regardless of either's situation, the man is going to think she might want to suck on this bitch out. So, there you go. I'm going to get me a dog, says Anthony. Hello, hello. Too bad you don't let subscribers in on the other show. Failure horns. I look. Wait. Members. Subscribers, I let them in. Members, I don't let in. Anyone could watch. No, only members can actually. Um, I might I might go back to subscribers only because members only is good, but I think subscribers only at least should be better. So, we'll see. We'll, make, we'll get the chat more lively with just subscribers in the future. Never know. 99.9% of the dudes in this chat would pick up that chick in a heartbeat. Which chick? I don't know what you're talking about. 611190, 46 years old. That's, I mean, that's good. That's good. 
Are you ignored in love and second eclipse? Do you feel alone when you're out and about by yourself? Like, I, I guess I'm lucky or maybe it was strategic, right? I have some pretty badass hot rods. I'm not going to lie. So if I wanted to get noticed, don't you think I'd take my ZR1 down to Clematis, which is a very nice downtown area in West Palm, park it right in the front, walk into Rocco's, walk into Lenora's, walk into a really nice joint, dressed up real nice, and just chill out there and see what's up. Like, if I was a single guy, that'd be the move. Hey, look at the car. Look at the clothing. Again, I'm not looking for a wife out there. I'm not looking for a wife out there. If I was a single guy, I'd go out and do that shit. Because now I can. If I had a fucking Gen 5 Viper, fuck yeah, let's go. Why, why have a Viper if you can't pull pussy with it? Stop it. Ben, Baby Vance says, I've been on a losing streak these past few weeks. It wasn't this way when I was 22. And Sigil... <clears throat> it's not creepy it's biology no no we don't need them peasants <laughs> we would like to have a say in that, that as a subscriber why don't you just become a member for five bucks a month dude i don't get that that's how you support the channel like that's how you support the channel i'm trying to weed out the people that don't support the channel because you can subscribe and be a hater and that's okay if you want to hate that don't mean you got a voice though I can't wait with age might have to go to the gym zach b my dog is a good wingman alfredo diaz 58160 ignored as fuck might as well be a non-playable character now that is a very good way of putting it so if you uh, are into video games a new acronym that has popped up over twitter and everywhere else is an npc so if you play grand theft auto and you're walking with a bazooka for no fucking reason in front of a hospital and you see these people on the sidewalk you know non-playable characters People in the periphery, people just there. Well, that's how we feel. Like we're like we don't really have a say in the matter. We don't have a, a, a position in the storyline. We don't matter to many people. A non-playable character, meaning irrelevant. So, if you see the word or the acronym NPC, that means they're referring as someone to be a nobody. So, if this is great, five eight ignored, I might as well be a NPC. YouTube Corrupt says, there's no hot chicks in my area. I set my Tinder to countries in Asia and there's tens for days, maybe because I have yellow fever. That's racist. Rex said, married, high school sweetheart, 10 years, now two kids, 120 a year, truck driver here, have to be, have become invisible to anyone, not my kids. Have you become invisible to your wife if she just sees you now as a paycheck? Tony Domingos, yeah, they run into the wall. Non-playable characters. And men are non-playable characters generally. But if you ladies could trade places, would you? I guarantee you wouldn't. And if you did, you'd be sad. You'd, you'd be diagnosed with depression. You'd go, wait a minute. How do men deal with this every day? How do men deal with no interaction with people except maybe the cashier at a fucking... Uh, Sunoco or a uh, Shell, meaning if you are at a park by yourself looking at your phone, you're a fucking weirdo as a guy. You're immediately labeled as a fucking weirdo. And women go, what's with that creep hanging out at the park? What a psycho. Maybe I want to meet people. Maybe I want to Maybe I want to be left alone. Maybe, or maybe I want to be out in the park where there's cute chicks jogging around and take a look. Oh, you're a creep. You're fucking gross. Get the fuck out of here. George Resendez says, I am a subscriber. I'm oh, sorry, I'm a subscriber. I'm a, I got me a submissive girl in quotation marks. When I'm alone, I'm invisible. When I'm with her, I get attention. We both average looking. Yeah. And I would say Nick is a little above average because he's tall. He's got light eyes, dreamy skin. Um, no, seriously, Nick is, in my opinion, above average. He's tall. He's got light eyes. He's, he's slim, you know, so he stands out, in my opinion. I don't. Maybe I stand out because of my girth, because I'm like thick, you know. Like I'm not not huge, but I, you know, I I I am noticeable. Let's just say that. But women don't approach me. Women don't say hi to me. Women don't even look in my direction and give me a smile or something. And when they do, they're nasty. <laughs> we are either treated as NPCs or used for our skills and resources. Most of my family only calls me when they need me. 
It is weird that when you're with a girl, you get more looks from other women. But wait, where's my where's my male privilege? Yeah, ladies, you want to know how awesome it is to be a guy? Let's say, put yourself in my shoes, a single Alex two years ago. Wake up, no dog, right? Wake up to silence in the apartment. Make my own breakfast, watch a little news, work. Eight hours pass by. I haven't come across one motherfucker. Maybe at lunchtime, go to Publix, get my food, interact with the cashier. Did you find everything okay? Yeah, I found everything okay. Have a good day. You too. Interact with the security guard. Good morning. How are you? Good. Bye. Back to work. Then what? Now, if you go to the gym, you got your headphones in, no one notices you. No one says shit to you. Times seven, seven days a week like that. Could you deal with that, ladies? Could you deal with that lack of interaction? I didn't want to not interact with people. I did not want to like talk to people. I want to talk to people. But they don't want to talk to you because you're a man. Imagine all the attention you get right now as a girl. Let's say you're on Instagram. Let's say you're on Facebook. Let's say you're on Twitter. And you're posting pictures. Guys are saying, mmm. Mm, hard eyes. Ooh. And you're like, oh, oh my God, they they like me. They like me. Oh. But in real life, no one's saying shit to you. Could you could you deal with it? Or do you go out of your way to get noticed by men? Go to the gym and slut a tire and then go, ew, when a guy dares say hello to you. Alex is thick, thick, says Tony Dominguez. Yeah, women are a little overkill with the labeling with men these days. Male privilege, not one motherfucker. Like, I was blown away. That at the gym, I will tell you this. I went to an LA fitness here close by. And the women there were unbelievable. And they spanned from the age of 20 to 50. And they were all hot. For two years, guys. For two years, not one girl looked at me. Not one motherfucker. Not one. Didn't even bother to say hi. I'm out there benching three plates, squatting four plates, pushing fucking. I was fucking. They didn't give a fuck. And one time, I looked at a girl. She cute. Never even gave me the side eye. Never even gave me anything. I decide, let me time it properly. Let me see if I can open the door for her one day. And I was I just happened to be leaving one day on a Saturday morning. And she's leaving at the same time. So I'm like, wow, this is great timing. So I stopped, opened the door, and she looked at me right in the eye socket. And she goes, thank you. And I smiled. I said, you're welcome. And she liked my smile. And we started talking. Every time I'd see her the next time at the gym, she'd go, hi. I'd go, hi. And then one day... I, she was on the treadmill, and I decided to plop my ass next to her. Uncomfortable as fuck. But I did it. And I nailed her later. That was it. Now she hates my guts. <laughs> but, you know, that's how uh, the cookie crumbles. Why do women with kids still think they're the prize? Yeah, no. Um, You, you got to understand. Women that have kids, some of them look great, but they got to understand that the kids bring you down a couple of points. That doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means you're not as valuable as if you didn't have kids to us. I always got hit on when I was out with my hot girlfriend. When you say that out loud, it hits different, right? You guys got to understand what men go through. Like what men go through and what you have to do to get out of your comfort zone to get out of that funk could be insanely uncomfortable. And, 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 and it could actually induce like mini panic attacks inside you. But once you get over it, you know, you're like, right, let's just get out of this funk, Alex. Because you can't talk to your friends and say, ah, oh, man, you know, I really feel alone, man. No one talks to me. Nobody acknowledges my existence. Nobody looks at me and it and smiles. All these girls just like are in their own world. And, and I think I'm an okay looking dude. And, and I don't understand why women just don't don't fucking look at me and even say hi or anything and i'm trying i'm at the gym i'm at the gym every fucking day i see these women every fucking day i'm at Publix. i see the same bitch every fucking day and they don't even fucking look in my direction like at all well, it's got it's got to be tough for some dudes like super tough but they can't go talking about it because they're going to be labeled as bitches or complaining or whiny so we just got to shut the fuck up and keep going alice with the truth every time i tune on to this channel can you imagine a dude showing up to the gym greased up in a Speedo? Right. 
you imagine a guy, let's say he's gifted, has a big hog and wears like super tight pants and shows off his hog that's touching his thigh. You think girls are going to go, oh my God, I want to suck on that. They're going to go, okay, he's a big dick, but that's fucking weird. Even a guy with a 12 inch hog that's trying to show off his hog is going to be labeled as weird. Oh my God, that, that's the guy with the big dick over there. He's fucking weird. He's showing it to everybody. Uh, now she hates you. Um, you know what's funny about that girl? That girl hates me. <laughs> but she doesn't hate me because I did her wrong. She hates me because I didn't pick her. She hates me because I didn't pick her. She's too old. I'm sorry. You were fun, a good time, beautiful, sweet, kind. You're too old. Because I can attract younger. Sorry. I can attract younger. And I and if if I have to weigh out a if I have to do a, a calculation, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be okay looking for at least 10 more years. At least. Are you without pulling shit back? Probably not. So yeah. Sounds like the movie Fight Club probably ghost watching, and that's what men do, right? It's almost as if chicks require online attention. Otherwise, it's like they're not good enough to them. You must have been the plumber and now she's mad, Alex. No, look. She was a nice girl, but this is the problem, right? You can't be 50. You can't be late 40s and act like you're 22. In my opinion, if you're a woman in your late 40s and you are able to attract me, because, sorry, ladies, I'm the prize here. You're able to attract a guy that makes six figures and is single, no kids. I have resources. I'm the prize. When you start acting like I have to chase you, you already got it fucked up. So if an older woman approached me and came correct, meaning she pursued me, I'm the prize, take care of the kid, okay, I'm in. But if you're like, hi, I think you're cute. Oh, thanks. And then she just waits around for me to do everything else. You will lose that game 100% of the time. You'll lose it. Did you tell us she's too old or did you spare her feelings? I spared her feelings. I spared her feelings. But now she's watching. She, she, bro, she got engaged like at 50 years old. Like who the fuck gets engaged at 50 years old? Congratulations, I guess. But what the fuck are you doing? So... You go, okay, well, congrats, right? Whatever. But she was mad that I just didn't give her that 100%. You know, we hooked up. and It was fine. It was actually, she was above average there. Um, great time. And I wanted that. That's all I wanted. I wanted that because that can lead to something else, right? So women will give you some poom poom. And they'll go, here's some pussy. I'm not giving you another chance at this pussy until you state your intentions uh my intentions is to keep fucking you until maybe one day i say i'd like to keep fucking you all the time you and me committed no she did the classic mistake she gave it all up everything slob on the knob la bola everything was just taken care of Beautiful, wonderful. My God, I got this to look forward to a couple times a week. Badass. Then she cut it off. And I'm like, okay, I'm out. Wait, why are you out? Because there's no more pussy. So you're only with me for pussy? Yes. Ladies, at the crust of it all, we want pussy. Consistent pussy with you it's not that we want pussy with a bunch of different women if it's good with you i want it a lot with you and if you snatch the pussy away after the first time until there is commitment at 45 6 7 8 years old you got it backwards way backwards how old was maintenance girl she was uh like two young two years three years younger than me that girl aged wonderfully. She's just, she, she literally looks like she's 27, 28. There's a reason you're 40 and single, babe. Exactly. Have you run into pillow princesses or that just for women under 30? Pillow princesses? Can you like give me a... What's a pillow princess? Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm out of the loop. 
A woman over 40 ain't going to start looking better, so I don't blame them. What are we, Alex? What are we? The what are we is what killed that particular relationship or partic two, two of them, two of them. There was a girl named Tiffany. She was, again, I pursued her. I pursued her. And um, right after the breakup of my last relationship, she was the first girl I went on dates with. And it was okay, but, you know, I wasn't ready, right? So not because I was, wasn't was over my ex. It's, I just I just want to date and have fun and, and just, you know, see what's out there. And then she knew that, so she backed off. So she got a little older, about a year or two later, when she started having hot flashes, <laughs> she starts hitting on the kid hardcore. Kid goes up, smashes. It was okay. It was okay. She, great body. My goodness. Great, great. Then she goes, what are we? We're fucking. We're dating. I didn't say we're fucking. I would say, well, I don't know. I think we're dating. She goes, well, I think I need something more than that. I said, we've gone on three dates. You gave me the poom poom on the fourth. And now you want commitment at 41 to three years old? What is wrong with women nowadays, bro? Just enjoy the ride. Why do you have to now put a label on it? Because you made me go away by asking for a label. Because that is odd behavior. Sorry. When are you getting married? <laughs> How is your energy level now compared to your mid-20s? I've always been a low-energy person. not looking forward to my... Uh, uh, ask my girlfriend. <laughs> it's a problem. My ears do it three more times. To me, it's strange for men to marry older women. I know a guy who's 30 and he married a 43-year-old to fulfill a cougar fantasy, but marry? I don't get it. Yeah, something's wrong with him. Let it blossom. It's like a sabotaging, it's like sabotaging a sale. Correct. Correct. Let ladies, let it blossom. To the women out there that I went on dates with, we hooked up, and then it went away. It was you. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was you. Did you say something weird right after we hooked up? Did you ask me to label our relationship after we hooked up? Did you back off the poom poom hoping that I would go out of my way to ask you to be in a relationship with me in order to get the pussy again? I'm sorry. The ride wasn't that great. Now, if you had magical vagina, yeah, that's a completely different story. But you're okay. You're okay. Maybe to a lesser experienced person, they would have fallen in love. But I would have gone... I'm like, I, yeah, I've had this before. I mean, I've been in two long-term relationships and they were great in the bed. I'm sorry. And my current relationship is amazing. So, I, you know, you haven't wowed me. There isn't anything I haven't done. So don't think if you twist it a certain way or suck it a certain way or look at it a certain way or grab it a certain way that you're all of a sudden going to make me try to own you on that situation or, or try to claim you as my own. Don't try to put a label on it. Let it ride. See where it goes. Pillow Princesses is a woman who is lazy in the bedroom and doesn't put work in. Yeah, I had one that was like that. She was she was beautiful too. She was actually real tall. She was like six feet tall, blonde hair, uh, uh, Swedish girl. And she just laid there. And I'm like, no. Nah. Hefany, um, I only got titles on my cars, Alex. I, I only got titles on my car. Got it. Exactly. Uh, some guys trying to marry their mom. If if I'll marry if she's a millionaire. Exactly. And I've said this to my girlfriend. You know, she she and I have really good candid conversations and they're usually hypothetical. They usually, they go along like, she goes, would you ever get married? I go, yeah. She goes, in what situation? I go, if she's worth a billion dollars. And then she laughs, but then she goes, I get it. And I go, why? Why do you get it? She goes, security. I go, exactly. I'm not going to work if you're a billionaire. Fuck you. <laughs> We're married. I love you. You're my soulmate. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'd be a, I'd be a, I'd be just like women are. Fake as shit. Till you get in there. And once you're in there, pfft, go ahead, do whatever. I got half your shit. Fuck you. I think women like to talk about you with their friends. So they need to know the relationship status cause their friends are definitely going to ask. You can't force slash speed up a relationship, but women don't have patience. The woman that I met at the gym was actually super sweet. She's actually to this day, probably one of the sweetest women I've ever met. She is genuinely nice and sweet. Her looks are going to fade pretty soon. And she's got to know this. She's got to know this because she is a very attractive girl. I think still, I don't know. I haven't seen her in years, but 
Um, I was looking at it from a, 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 a percentage thing. I'm like, I was 42 at the time, and I look pretty much the same as you could scroll back on my live stream. I look a little slimmer now than I did at 42. But she definitely looks older in those two years. You, you, you could tell. So I said, okay, what is this relationship going to look like in two years? I'm literally going to look like I'm with a really old woman. And then the poom poom was okay, but I would have considered going out going out with her like long term. But she did the weird thing of pulling back once she gave up the pussy. Once she gave up the pussy, she pulled back, and I went, "Why are you pulling back the pussy? I might want to see you again and again and again." She goes, "Well, I don't want it to be just about sex." And I'm like, "Oh my god, you literally don't understand men at all." Zach B says they want the title. Women can't date for a certain amount of time without having a title. By the way, did you get around long? Yeah, okay, Baby Vanta, I read the whole thing, and I, I just can't get anything out of it. It's an interesting story maybe to you, but I couldn't make a show out of it. You know what I mean? Like, it was very well written and very long and, 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 and detailed, but I can't make a show out of it. It was just like most relationships go. It's, it's, like, it's like me recounting everything that happened in my last relationship to detail as opposed to the snapshots the relationship with your father and all the other fun stuff you seem to have gone through like everything but the fun stuff um and it just it's not bad it's just i have to i have to eventually go i need to entertain the audience and if it isn't like insanely entertaining i probably i probably wouldn't you know Put you through that because I'd hate to read this. Uh, it was very long. Oh my god, what the fuck! I'd hate to read this very long email and have people be bored. The last thing I want to do as a uh, channel guy is to bore the audience. And I just don't think there was anything there to like write home about. And again, no, no offense to you. I appreciate you writing it, but there just wasn't anything there for for me to use, unfortunately. All right, guys, let's get to the fun shit. I don't know where it is. I have no idea where it is. Where to go? Where to go? Where's the Price Is Right? Did I get rid of the prices right? No way. No freaking way I got rid of the prices right music. Yesterday's price, Stunna. Dude, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. What the hell is wrong with this? My goodness. Look at the bubble slides. That's right. Yeah. Come on, bump. Oh, my God. Okay, so we are in Tampa today. Today we are in Tampa. We are set to Tampa. Oh, my God. Enchanting. Yo, my God, let's get right after because I have about maybe 10 minutes in me and I'm going to be done. Got 100 people on, so that's a good, good look. Enchanting. <laughs> Can I pull on that hair? Can I pull on that hair? I'm looking for a man to treat me like a queen. Be oh, get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. Canelo. Donde tu ta Canelo? Oh, my God, Canelo, stop it. Get the fuck out of here because I'm, I'm going to fuck you out right now. Oh, my Lord, look at the... Uh, I can't pull on that hair. The eyelashes are stupid. It's weird. You're looking down at the camera every time. You're looking down, down, down. Treat you like a queen. Are you fucking psycho? Sheesh. Me, okay, let me see the filters. 22 to 42. Let's bump it up to 45, but it is Tampa. Eh, let's keep it at 42. Let's just bring the miles up because it is Tampa. Women really don't take care of the shit down there. Um, Emily, there we go. Emily, 23 years old, looking great, beautiful, pretty girl, excellent. Nothing wrong with her. Let's go. See? Easy. Erica, 38. Ooh, the sun's getting low. Sun's getting real low. What? Someday. Are you insane? Are you insane? Ese nene. Wasalil. Retalda. Ambitious, creative, nerdy, adventurous at E. Lee Design Studio. Follow me at Instagram, please. She's hot, though. Let's fuck. Vanessa. <laughs> See, the nice thing about hiring a girl like this uh, at a retail position is she can keep an eye at the door and the register at the same time. hey <laughs> oh, Oh, Alex, how dare you? Haley, okay. Haley, I hope you're the one on the right. I hope this is Haley right here. Please let this be Haley. <laughs> Survey says... Yes! Oh, she's cut. Oh my God, she's fit too. Let's go. Yes. Oh, she got a fake tooth. It's a little blacker than the other one. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go. Good shit. Good shit. Get the fuck out of here. Navi, is this like the people from Pandora? The Navi? 
I'm the Nabi. 26 years old. She is 5'7". Nice. Drinks frequently. That's a weird one. Never smokes. Doesn't know if she wants kids yet. She's in Tampa. She's from Hayward, California. Good enough for me. Keep it simple. I, I don't understand this look. Uh, this started maybe three years ago where this bullshit of ripped up pants. You're 39, honey. You're 39, okay? You look fucking stupid with these ripped up pants. Yeah, honey, you're not you're not young. Stop it. It's it's not funny. It's not fun. Fuck you. This is a fake profile. These profiles are these chi- the same people that want you to buy or to uh, make a Ford, a deal with Ford for batteries are the same people setting up these profiles to get your information. Ashley, 24 years old, good looking girl, a uh, little bit of the purple hair complex, and we all know to avoid them like the plague. And 40 years old, Vietnam, Los Angeles, nowhere, nowhere, Wisconsin. Is that like an actual place? Middle child, act a bit, but not me la don't time. Time to get back into the bag of the exercise routine. Open-minded and adventurous. Maybe stupidly fearless and psychedelics. What? Stupidly Felix, fearless. Oh, stop, stop. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Carrie, 41. Ah, uh, you're all right. Your rack is okay. Sarcastic wise ass from New York. Attracted to alpha males. Uh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Just, just, just leave it right there. Kate, 32. <laughs> Kate, 32 years old, Colorado raised homeowner, business owner, dog owner, Etsy store, lover of patios in the sunshine, random road trips, hikes, camping. Jesus is my savior. What did he do? Did he save you from drowning or something? Uh, the family is number one. You're okay, but you're an average chick. See, and even average chicks can get pounded on. Average dudes ain't getting nothing. Aline, 37 years old. Hello, I'm here from Brazil. I've been in Canada for years. I've been moved to Florida. I love Jesus. <laughs> Meet new people and explore the globe. Looking for a life and travel partner. Never married, no kids. Family Orion. She's good looking. Oh, yeah, let's go. She's good looking. Good looking, good looking. Yeah, just walk away. Oh, but I'm walking away. Do you know what I'm saying? Devin, 29 years old. Looking for an extrovert who can balance my introvertness. I educate the next generation. I'm not a teacher, though. I help them work on building their problem solving and social skills. What? Oh, no. You sound like you teach CRT or something. Get the fuck out of here. Emily, 27 years old. Life's short. I'll keep it simple for you. I enjoy riding, hiking. Oh, oh, oh my God. She talks so much. Okay, no music. I, I, I can't do the music today. My head's exploding. I enjoy riding, hiking, exploring, exploring new places in Tolkien? Tolkien? What the fuck is Tolkien? Uh, bitch, just say you like books. Just fucking, just stupid ass, stupid bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate you. Ed's... <laughs> Esgi, 40 years old. I'm hoping it's the one on the right. The one on the right is way better looking. Again, which one are you? Again, which one are Yes, she's the one on the right. Very nice. Very nice. Istanbul. Instant Istanbul. Lake Tahoe, Boston, San Francisco, New York City, Florida. Never married. No kids. There's a problem. There's a problem. There's a problem, honey. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something. She likes tall, assertive, intelligent men. But do they like you? But do they like you? The answer is no. Thank you very much. Abby, 39 years old. Uh, I don't like girls with super curly hair. Am I one of the weird... Tolkien is the Lord of the Rings? Oh my God, shut the fuck up. Abby, I don't like women with super curly hair. I like running my fingers through your hair. And if you got super curly hair like this, it's just a little less attractive. Look at the dog though. Eh, a little Tony wannabe. Get the fuck out of here. Leah, uh... Aspiring grown-ups likes carbs, hike. Okay, so you're a child. Shut up. I hate that. I'm an aspiring grown-up. No, be a grown-up. Be a grown-up. Oh, my God. Thanks to Alex, I almost choked on my food. We all go to hell for laughing. Oh, this girl's good-looking, good-looking. Lynn is 40 years old, got a stupid cursive tattoo on her ship. She has kids, doesn't want more. She's good-looking, got good eyebrows, good face, good symmetry. I like it. She's not great. But she's good. Look at the rack on Michelle. Nice rack. Originally from upstate New York. Let me see. You got both feet? You got both feet? Okay, good. Just making sure you got both feet before I say anything else. Uh, homeowner, concert junkie, and super on to the most beautiful little girl ever. Okay, let's see. You don't want kids. Relationship, 5'2". So she's an average girl. Can she get pounded on all the time? Absolutely. freaking lutely So girls like this, average chicks have it the best. Because we like girls next door the best. 
I'm with you on that. The curly fry hair is a no-go for me. Ismael, Ismeida Duran. Uh, about Ismeida, she uh, doesn't know what she wants, and she's 5'5", five five, and she looks totally different in two photos, so I'm going to swipe on that because women are motherfucking chameleons. Nia, 32 years old. Shapeshifter, sorry. Not sure I can fit all my crazy on here. Yeah, that's what I want. I, I, I go on a dating site. Oh, who's this? I have a new bee in the hive. Was this a leftover from way back in the day? Oh, and she's gone. She didn't like what she saw. <laughs> See ya. JC, 38 years old. Hi, you've reached the profile of JC. Please leave a message after the beep. Oh, wait, that's my job. Oh, get the fuck out of here. You know, ladies, I'm going to tell you something. You're not fucking funny. Like, I've never met a funny chick. I swear to God, there's these women out there that say, I'm hilarious. You're going to be laughing nonstop with me. And your jokes are fucking dull. I don't, you, you, the comedians you like are stupid. All women comedians aren't fucking funny. Look at the rack on Homegirl, though. Hell yeah. Oh, he got the culo on her. She got cake. Let's go. See, easy. Look at another one with a bunch of big old fucking rack. Isn't this the worst part about creating a dating profile? Love the beach and afternoon naps. Blessed with amazing kids. I'll give her a courtesy swipe. (laughs) So Lyra Cosmo. Is this Cosmo Kramer's daughter? This is a guy, right? Is this a guy? This is a guy, right? This is a guy, right? This is a guy. This is a guy. Bro, this is a fucking dude, right? Please. This has to be a guy. It don't say. That's fucked up. This is a guy. It's a fucking guy. Fuck that. Michelle got to go. Sorry, Michelle. Man, this is a bad. This is a, a, Tampa's terrible. Tampa is fucking trash. My lord. Molly, finally, a good looking girl. 31 years old, visiting Orlando. Oh, she wants dick between 215 and 220. Go get her. The endearing oddball everyone's rooting for. Teach me how to play the banjo or drive a manual. I'm yours. You're not driving the C6Z, bitch. You're driving this bitch, y'all. Man, she's going to be here for five days, so she just wants to get dick in Orlando. Gotcha. Not a problem. Paola, uh, girls ironically going on cheesy dates thinking it's adorable. Yeah, it's stupid shit. Like, it's really dumb. Lady Deathstrike with those long fingers. Logan, 30 years old. Good looking girl. Looking for the Jack to my Daniels. Stupid stupid alcohol jokes aren't my thing. Uranus. Uranus. Hey, look. We got a girl named Uranus. Could you imagine you your Cuban parents don't know anything about English, and they name you... Uranus. <laughs> oh my God, you Ura- no no, it's not Uranus, it's Uranis. No, bitch, that's Uranus. <laughs> we'll see what you're. Oh, she's from Colombia. Of course, Uranus is from Colombia. Kayla, thirty-eight years old, good look. Oh, I was gonna say good look, but she's chubby. A couple more, get out of here, Lucy. This is bad. This. Oh, look, she did say hello. She did say hello and a swinky face. Let, what, what's going on here? Let's, uh, oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Is this a leftover from the last time? Where's she from? This is a leftover. Authenticity telling. Do they know when I'm online? Brandon? What the fuck? It must be a leftover, leftover. Back to swipe. Ashley. Ooh, she thick, thick. Look at the thighs on her. My God. Chrissy. Uh, add my snap, Chrissy. No, no, thank you. Fuck you with the snap. Kristen, oh my God, this is Tampa to a T. Holy shit, the homeliness in Tampa is ridiculous. Holy shit, no wonder Miami's fucking lit. Look at this fucking mess. Spring Hill, Brandon, nasty stuff. Oh my God. Okay, Kelsey, let's see what Kelsey's all about. Ah, oh my God, it's like the Hobbit. This is the craziest shit I've ever seen. There's some, uh, okay, Chris. Apparently, someone named her while they had a lisp. Kristen, thirty years old. Oh, and she's an IG thought. All right, let's 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 get it the fuck out. It's bad. It's it's really bad up in Tampa. Holy shit, guys. I'm sorry. Tampa is trash. All right, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. Um, thank you very much for hanging out with me. So again, we talked about how men are invisible. Average men are invisible to society, to the world, and women would never want to trade places with an average man because you are going to have to be comfortable being alone, ignored, have no prospects, and you're going to have to work extremely tough and be almost an extrovert to get any attention from anybody. Unbelievable. YouTube Prep says, those are the kind of girls I see in North Carolina. That's why I stay in South Florida. There's like always top shelf liquor making its way here from Colombia, Venezuela, Cuba, Puerto Rico, and all in Russia. A lot of Russian chicks, especially in sunny Isles. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you for hanging out with me for 
some of you a couple of hours and most of you one hour talking about dating stuff, dating channel, guy centric, girl centric advice, you name it. This channel has it all when it comes to the dating scene, seen from the eyes or the viewpoint of a 45 year old Hispanic male living in South Florida. I'm out of here. I will be back on Monday, Monday, eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Let's make it nine o'clock because that seems to be more prime time. People are prepping for bed and they can just put their phones down on the bed and listen to me talk some shit. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another dating channel. The rest of you, I will see Sunday, 9.30 a.m. on the other channel talking car shit. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you very much for hanging out with me for a little bit. I will see you guys Monday. Thank you.